So I first came across Martha Hughes Cannon's stories when I was looking for women to include in the in the book Frontier Grit that had 12 mini, mini biographies of, of really incredible women. And I was amazed that I'd never heard of Martha before. At that time, so Frontier Grit came out in 2016, so this would have been around 2014 that I was working on it. And, and I, Martha had a lot less name recognition than she has now. Um, and it was really a pleasure to go back to Martha's life and to dig in more deeply and to read through her correspondence. And I just was really struck by what a remarkable woman she was and how much she accomplished and how many aspects of her life were aspects that women today can still relate to women and men, um, it's it's documented that she struggled with anxiety and depression, and yet she was able to really manage that to some extent, that she could be incredibly driven in spite of those personal challenges. And also the satisfaction that she found in her marriage was not, was not what she would have liked to, to have been. Um, she found many aspects of that lifestyle very challenging for her and very lonely. And I believe she took that loneliness and she used it to drive her, to motivate her, to find satisfaction and to find fulfillment in other areas of her life, specifically through her children and through her incredible career contributions. So it really was such a such a pleasure and such an honor to work more closely with Martha's story and to get to visit her hometown of Hlandidno, Wales was just incredible to to see the place where she was born, where she took her first steps and to try and understand how her Welsh background and heritage really influenced the woman that she became.